With Infinity War now on general release throughout the world, many fans have been poring over it frame by frame in order to pick out the most minute details. If you adore fan theories like me, then you know that they can dramatically change the way that you watch a film. This one by Redditor SJVKRGR1 definitely changes my thoughts on the post credit scene of Infinity War and sheds new light on the previous MCU films. The Redditor states that we should not be asking why Fury never called on Captain Marvel before Infinity War, instead we should change our perspective and ask why did Nick Fury call on her this time? What is offered up by the writer is an incredible thought on Fury's place throughout the entire MCU line of films and they state that 1. During the post credit scene, Fury appears confident when Maria disintegrates, like he knows what's going on. 2. He immediately goes for the pager, like he was prepared for the event. 3. In Age of Ultron, when he meets with Tony, Fury says that he's not the director of anybody, just an old man who cares about Tony very much. This is an odd turn of phrase, as prior to this they hadn't really had much of a relationship, and Fury is normally really standoffish with most people. 4. Later in the same conversation, Tony tells Fury of the Vision Skull which gave him where he kills the Avengers and the whole world too. Fury looks intrigued at the idea that Tony could have seen such a thing and he then tries to comfort him by saying it was a trick but Tony insists that he was shown it. Stark says, watching my friends die, you'd think that'd be as bad as it gets. Nope, wasn't the worst part which Fury interrupts with, the worst part is that you didn't. The Redditor states that all of the above points hint towards the fact that Fury had prior knowledge to the events of Infinity War, emphasising that they think the Captain Marvel film will show us that Fury has either A, seen, heard of, or been told the future where a man named Iron Man will save the universe, or B, has seen the snapping before to some degree. They also theorise that when Stark announced himself to be Iron Man, that it was Fury's cue to introduce Stark into the world of superheroes because he knew he would be of the utmost importance one day. This would explain why he immediately wanted to recruit Stark and train him to be a competent soldier. It would also explain why he's tried time and time again to save Stark from himself. It would also emphasise the fact that when Stark explained his visions of killing the Avengers and the world that it wasn't the worst part. Fury knows that Stark was still alive and perhaps Fury already knew this prophecy. Finally, it would also answer the question as to why Fury didn't call on Captain Marvel until Infinity War. Perhaps in the past he was shown or learned that in the future there would be some catastrophic event where she would be needed and that's why when Maria disappeared he quickly went to get the pager. They don't think it was out of fear but instead was out of recognising what the situation was. Personally, I think that this is an incredible theory that not only clears up why Fury was so quick to grab the pager, but also explains how the spy manages to stay one step ahead of everyone else time and time again. I can't wait to see if Captain Marvel highlights more of this or if it will be brushed aside as another one of Marvel's best fan theories. What do you think? Is there legitimacy to it or do you disagree? Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and subscribe to my channel. I create content like this weekly and there'll definitely be something on here that you love if you're a fan of film. Recently I discussed my fan theory on how Odin was the original Thanos, so make sure you check out that video next, linked at the end of this one. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, I've been Definition, you've been the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.